Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the atoms, elements, and the molecule, and what is the difference between them. So let's move to the slides. So first thing is about the atom. As we all know that atoms are the smaller molecules, also not the molecules, atoms are the smaller things that are indivisible. You can say they are indivisible. Atom means indivisible. The next thing is about the molecules. So what's at the molecule when atoms combine together, they make the molecule, like the oxygen molecules. When we hydrogen and oxygen combine with each other, they will make the water molecule. So atom is a single thing and molecule is a combination of the things, combination of the atoms. The next thing is about elements. Element consists of same type of atom, like copper atoms. They are present in the pure form, we call them as element. In the same way, when we talk about the mixture, mixture means when more than one type of elements combine with each other, like sulfur and iron, they combine and make the mixture. But there is a difference between a mixture and a compound. And what was that? Mixture is not chemically bounded. Like iron and sulfur are not chemically bonded with each other. So it's a mixture. But when we talk about chemical bond, if there is a chemical bond like sodium chloride, NaCl, they have an, a bond in between them. So that is a compound. That is not a mixture. So what is the difference between both of them? Mixture, they are not chemically combined with each other where the compound have a chemical bond between them. Particles in a mixture can be separated easily by using this simple method because there is no chemical bond. So we can separate them by using the different techniques like filtration, crystallization. We will discuss them after this. Now here's about the compound. Compound, as I told you before, they are strongly, there are strong forces between them that is known as chemical bonds and a chemical reaction needed to separate them, like carbon dioxide gas, that is a compound. So it is very difficult to separate carbon from the oxygen, not by using the simple physical method. We can't separate them. To separate them, we need a chemical reaction. Particles in a compound are very difficult to separate. The properties of a compound are very different to the properties of the original element. When we talk about, uh, like I gave you the example before, Sugar in water, when we dissolve sugar in a water, that is a mixture, that is not a compound because we can easily separate them by using the filtration technique, by using the evaporation method, by heating, different techniques can be used to separate them. But when we talk about the compound, like carbon and oxygen combine with each other and make carbon dioxide gas, so it is very difficult to separate them. So next is, you need to be able to describe the technique for separating mixtures. So which are the techniques? The basic techniques are filtration, simple distillation, fractional distillation, crystallization, and paper chromatography. These all techniques are going to be used to separate the mixture, not the compound. So the, today we are going to do only one technique that is the filtration. Filtration, we are going to separate which thing? How we are going to separate them? We are going to separate a solid from the liquid, first thing. One thing should be solid, other things should be liquid. And solid should be insoluble in the water. If the solid is soluble, then we can't separate them. For example, if sugar is soluble in water, we can't use a, this technique to separate it. But we can take the example of sand in water. Sand is insoluble in water, so it is easy for us to separate them. What will happen? Sand will be remain there on the filter paper. So filtration depends upon the size of the particle in the mixture. And the filtrate, that has to move down through the paper, filter paper. And the thing that remains at the upper side is known as residue. So as I told you before, this technique is used to separate an insoluble solid from a liquid and the example are the sand and water. So this is all about today's lecture in which we talk about what is the difference between atom, elements, mixture and the compound. And then we uh, talk about the different techniques that are going to be used to separate the mixture. And we discuss only one technique that is the filtration. If you got any question, you can ask. Take care. Bye.